Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're going to do a video about John Lasseter. Now, we actually debated for a couple of hours as to whether or not we were going to... I said no. Uh, I said yes. Geeky did say, yeah, I said we would we would uh, uh, be careful, I guess, with the video. Um, and then it, I got a she pin out of it, so I was bribed. <laughs> I bribed her. So I was bribed. Uh, originally, we were not going to touch this one when the John Lasseter situation broke last year we we really didn't cover it now i think we mentioned it a little bit in a video on chris hardwick yeah um when we had aaron sparrow on but we did not go there in regards to john laster so the short version is john laster has been hired by skydance animation uh just days after his employment with the walt disney company ended because of nebulous allegations uh from last year uh disney parted ways with john laster and and twitter uh comics and animation twitter is completely it's freaking blowing out. up they're blowing up they're, they're blowing freaking up. out including people who I, th I thought were working someplace else and they've got yes yes i know why, why would you be looking for a job at the, the studio all of a sudden um so it was actually end of 2017 though, yeah the end year. Of, keep doing that but oh, i keep doing what it year too. are we on i, I don't, don't know, know where we are it's been about a year and a half so i think it was november 2017 uh the the, the situation with lassiter happened now in a nutshell um as i understand it uh he uh we had a couple of people leave pixar because of not just john lassiter's behavior but because of the corporate culture they were not happy there, and I think it was Rashida Jones who was working as uh, a co-writer on um, Toy Story 4. Yeah, Toy Story 4. And um, she left, and uh, she did mention, I guess, that there was uh, uh, some unwanted attention from Mr. Mr. Lasser. Now, uh, you know, rolling rolling it back a little bit, most people who know John Lasseter or have worked with John Lasseter joke about how touchy-feely he is. Yeah, no, but it's still there's lines. Uh, right, and I'm not... I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying that is that has been John Lasseter for years, mm -hmm. and uh, apparently that behavior makes people uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm a girl, and I'm telling you, when people cross lines, even if they're just being nice, and you're and you're not meaning by it, not saying that he was or wasn't. Um, there are just things that, yeah, like that you just, it makes you uncomfortable. It's in, you know, it could be another woman even that can make you uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, just me personally, anybody that knows me, I am like in the anti John Lasser. Like I, he I, is. I don't, I don't like being hugged. I don't like people shaking my hand that I don't know them. I'm kind of weird about germs. And it's been years and my mom still call it, calls it the one armed. The one-armed hug. One -armed hug, yeah. Uh, it's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Other than with my wife, I'm not a very touchy-feely person. So yeah, well, good thing. <laughs> so you don't have to worry were, about it. You would have less fingers. Um, so, but Mr. Lassiter is uh, a very touchy-feely person, and again, you know, this behavior has has gotten him into trouble. Now, I think he got a pass for years because nobody really thought much of it. But then, when Me Too happened, uh, you know. Like the, the, some things you shouldn't do. Yeah, the attention was focused on him. And now the, the weird thing about that was uh, Jones, Rashida Jones, when she left Toy Story 4, you know, going back to last year, she she basically came out and said that she did not leave Pixar because of, of John Lasseter touching her. Mm -hmm. um, she said that, yeah, he did make an unwanted advance, but she actually said, this is her direct quote, the breakneck speed at which journalists have been naming the next perpetrator in regards to Me Too renders some reporting irresponsible. So she's basically saying there was some irresponsible reporting. We did not leave Pixar because of unwanted advances. That is untrue. We parted ways because of creative and more importantly, philosophical differences. There's so much talent at Pixar and we remain enormous fans of their films. However, it is also a culture where women and people of color do not have an equal creative voice. Um, and then she ended uh, the statement. It was uh, Ms. Jones and uh, Mr. McCormick. Uh, they said, we encourage Pixar to be leaders in bolstering, hiring, and promoting more diverse and female storytellers and leaders. We can only, uh, we hope we can encourage all of those who felt like their voices could not be heard in the past to feel empowered. So. Sorry, I'm just like, yes, yes, we're leaving because we didn't get what we wanted. Go hire a bunch of women. Well, they, they did actually, because Jennifer Lee is <laughs> actually taking his job, but um, Jennifer <laughs> Lee, who, who worked on Frozen. Uh, but I'm no, a woman. I'm just the like, thing is, is the initial, is. the initial grievance against John Lasseter uh, wasn't him touching people, even though it was mentioned in passing that yeah, he- Yeah, why did you mention that? That wasn't your problem though, why bring it up? 
Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Again, I don't know. I don't I just, know. I just find this is a weird story. I don't I don't know. Um so instead of terminating uh John right away. Right. They gave him till December of this year, right? Yeah, Disney basically gave him a year plus to transition. And again, yeah. Jennifer Lee is taking over. Uh, I forget. They basically split his job with two people. I can't remember um, off the top. Of my, I think it was Pete Doctor uh, and Jennifer Lee, who actually are I I think are qual probably qualified to. But I mean, he's John Lasseter. It's going to be a hard job. So they had to give it to two people. Um, and Disney gave him a year plus to transition. If Disney thought he was up to hanky panky. They would have had him out the door. Like uh, He would have been out the door. There was susp suspicious activity around Gunn, and boy, he was out faster than fast. James Gunn, there was just a, a possibility that there was some you know weird shit going on with James Gunn, and Disney got rid of him ASAP. I mean, he was going like... That's I keep saying there's more to it, because they wouldn't have just yeah. gotten rid of him that quickly unless there was. And you know what? Something else against me, a lot of these people on Twitter are making these comments. Well, yeah, because he's a man of importance, and because he's irreplaceable, they just allow his bad behavior. And I'm like, well, a lot of people argue that Gunn was irreplaceable. There's still going to use his script because he did such an amazing job and I, I and he was you know I honestly don't know how it's going to be without him yeah they still didn't bring him back and he could be arguably irreplaceable also yeah and they actually went to they actually went to uh, Bob Iger he mm -hmm. went and he talked to Bob Iger he talked to Kevin Feige and they're not bringing uh, Gun back at all and he's going to be working on I think Suicide Squad for DC so I'm saying there had to be something to it yeah because Disney I mean if people like that they if there isn't any actual wrongdoing found a lot of times they'll just kind of phase them out so john is being phased out uh or was phased out his contract was up at the end of the year and within like a week he's got a job offer from skydance yeah and now uh twitter is completely um freaking Losing out. it yeah well, i was so gonna say real quick about disney too one thing about them is they hate that pr and yeah, i can't do. think they'd allow it if they really honestly thought something bad was going to happen to them for allowing him to stay yeah so the concerns people had now this is there are multiple stories and it depends on i guess the point of view here there are multiple points of view uh regarding this but i'm going to take varieties um because they seem to be pretty middle of the road as did pixar chief john laster hired by skydance animation people have concerns about you know what he did and they basically conducted uh they conducted um you know a uh, uh, outside investigation outside investigation yes uh in a letter to staff announcing the higher skydance media ceo david ellison praised lassiter as an industry visionary but spent much of the note explaining the decision to give him a second chance well probably because i'm sure his staff was probably like what? Yeah, and I mean, whether <laughs> yeah, he did or didn't do it, we don't know. But even if, but if you know he didn't do it, that's crap. If he didn't do it, then he's already been smeared even if he didn't do something. So, I right. mean, we so, don't know. So here's what's going on. He said that the company had employed uh, outside counsel to investigate the allegations against Lasseter, one individual with knowledge of the investigation, said that attorney spoke to 20 or roughly 20 people about the accusations while we would never minimize anyone's subjective views on behavior mm -hmm. <laughs> but we called it subjective that's funny that's interesting well, we would never minimize anyone's subjective views that on is behavior. a very interesting <laughs> word just, choice i was like wow that's uh, weird but okay. we we are confident after many substantive conversations with john um and as the investigation has affirmed that his mistakes have been recognized. Okay, so he admits, if that's the case... He was too touchy-feely. Yeah, so basically we got from this. We'll be looking at this. I would never minimize anyone's subjective views on behavior. So I would never minimize anyone's opinion of behavior that they might think it was bad even if it wasn't. But uh, John has repented. Yes. And, and, and repenting is good enough for places like Patreon. So I, Patreon, know, yeah, it's um, right. You know, John has repented and admitted his mistakes and recognized them. So you know, if he did do things like you know was a little bit too touchy feely or whatever he did, he it was admitted to the company because he was it was the mistakes have been recognized. Yeah. So I guess my thing going back to James Gunn, why is it? Why were so many people pushing for James Gunn to be brought back on uh, to Guardians, but they can't? You know, they they don't. Because the James Gunn allegations weren't against women. They were against children. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, that doesn't even matter. It's a lot of uh, uh, you know, um, I mean, it's, yeah, it's just a So, weird... okay, we are certain that John has learned valuable lessons and is ready to prove his capabilities as a leader and a colleague. So, basically, you know, he admitted he did what he, whatever he did, and but it wasn't, what it, but it was subjective of what he did. I, That's really interesting, subjective That is very behavior. interesting, and we've got lawyers looking at this. I think, you know... It might have just, I don't know. Again, this is a tough one. I don't, 
No, but it doesn't sound to me like there was any concrete, like, yes, John Lasseter uh, pinned a woman against a wall in the break room and yada yada. It was Ew. more like John Lasseter. Sorry, that this mental image makes me like John Ugh. Lasseter gave someone an unwelcome shoulder rub well, or John Lasseter I mean, okay. kissed somebody on the cheek or John Lasseter. I'm, I'm actually, you know, as being a girl, I'm actually more like it than you are about this. But when it says so minimize anyone's subjective views and behavior, what that sounds like to me is like, well, we talked to people, and he patted someone on the, on the you know, arm. Mm -hmm. And, well, they took that as, you know, bad behavior, but they, everybody else thought that wasn't bad behavior. So it sounds to me like one or two people had thought differently that a certain behavior was um, a bad behavior when most everybody or you know, would think that that is not a bad behavior. Because why would you say, we never want to minimize anyone's subjective views? I mean, I just thought that's funny. That's like a slap. We never want to minimize that not is, anyone's yeah. views on behavior. Yeah. We never want to minimize anyone's subjective views on behavior. That that word <laughs> in this that could be to the media too. I don't know. Well, no, I think that's to the people who who brought the allegations against him, and I think that is to you know this is probably coming from an I attorney. I just thought it was funny. Well, they're not going to hire him. They're going to get sued. But the media now is doubling down because they want to make sure that they they put pressure on uh, Skydance to get them to drop him is what's going on. Yeah, so now we've got uh, Time's Up, which is, you know, sort of the, uh, I guess, Me Too Ground Zero. Mm -hmm. um, women in Film and Time's Up slamming Skydance for hiring John Laster. It endorses a, and perpetuates a broken system. Yeah, so that's system. what we're hearing on Twitter. You're just, you know, because you find him really good at his job, you're overlooking bad behavior. I don't know, because we don't know exactly what happened. So... So this is actually coming from women in uh, women in film. Uh, from women in the industry to feel safe, we need more transparency than the above statement, and we need to know what the company plans to do to ensure that safety. Actually, I don't disagree with that. By saying Skydance has conducted an independent investigation and then proceed to hire Lasseter, do they mean to suggest that they're hiring him in spite of the numerous accounts of women and colleagues? No, 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 see, that's not what it said. Hmm. We do think that people can learn and change. Uh, do they? I don't know, because look at Kevin Hart. Uh, Kevin Hart wasn't allowed to. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart wasn't allowed to apologize. Um, right there. He's right there. Um, <laughs> we uh, do think that people can learn change, and we look forward to men who model this, but true reparation requires transparency. Well, I think what they're saying is that they should be able to look at the report, is what they're probably saying. But then what they'll do is, if we can look at the report, where does, you know, where does privacy end? You know what I mean? Yeah, so people often ask when a man who has abused his power gets to come back there is no simple answer but here are a few but you first don't steps. know if he did or not that's just what gets me is we don't know if he did or not that's what that's what i'm saying uh, it's like if you have somebody who like clearly did yeah but no one it's not hasn't been it has not been very clear whether he did or not demonstrate true remorse claims wor they did. work deeply to reform your they behavior claim that he did and deliver restitution to those you have harmed. Well, they claim that he did these things. Well, so. his subordinates got his job. I don't know. What I don't know what to say here. But I don't know what really to say. I don't know what to say. They haven't. They never actually. Here's the thing of me. They have so many actors now, and different people, celebrities, are going up and get with criminal charges because there was proof of what they did, and there was never any criminal charges here. And I just have to. And, and it's just. <sighs> I don't want to say he didn't do it. I'm not saying he didn't, but I also am like the if they, I don't the think the word subjective. It sounds. I know it does. It sounds to me like again, you know, I, I'm not defending John Laster's behavior. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there, but he always struck me as being sort of like the touchy feely uncle, not Uncle Ernie, you know, or anything like that. But like, like he just, you know, he just seems like I don't know a very kind of emotional guy and. You know, I just it made, I, I just think it was basically he just made people uncomfortable. He well, made people uncomfortable. The thing that gets me about petrying a broken system. I want to talk about broken systems for a minute, too. Because um, here's the thing. I'm not saying don't believe all women at all. I'm not saying that as a woman, I think you should believe women. But I think you should look into what they're saying. Because I know of uh, an example from when I was a kid that a teacher was accused of doing something the teacher did not do because he didn't give the grades to students that they that they wanted. And they ended up accusing him of, of uh, you know, misconduct. And he lost his job for a while and everything else. His reputation was ruined. And it turned out later that they lied. And he, but he retired because it didn't matter what he said. Everybody hated him at that point. And just recently, and where we're at, there's a, well, close by here, a couple hours away, there's a story about a kid who uh, got accused of misconduct and flat out like sexual assault and, and at his job. 
and he got kicked out of school he got put in juvie he lost his job there's all these kinds of problems but now the family's suing the school and they're suing they're suing the families of these girls because later it turned out the girls admitted they lied they didn't like him and they wanted to show him so they lied about it and and now he is the kid you know his reputation is damaged beyond repair and I don't understand why there's no criminal charges pressed against them. I mean, if you come out with people that are lying, there should be criminal charges pressed against people who miss, you know. Because yeah. here's the thing about that. If people, you know, when these these instances happen that aren't true, then what happens is, um, you know, next time, you know, the, the next time this an accusation is made that's a real one at the school, are they going to believe it? Probably not, because the last time they believed it and acted without investigating, um, this, you know, that this thing happened. But the flip side is, they might not believe it next time, so they they don't act and they don't or they don't they're gonna investigate first and not act, and then something could happen to this other person. Yeah. So you, as a as a woman speaking to other women, um, yeah, I think people should believe you, but I think you should really make sure that you're not making fake accusations because it's gonna harm women who are really, truly being harmed. Yeah. No, I would I would agree with that. It's it's you know crying crying wolf. Um. Yo, know, so this is a tough one because, okay, so we did talk a little bit on the show before about Chris Hardwick mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, um, his girlfriend had a lot of support, including uh, some of the folks who came on the show uh, to support her. But now AMC did a, and again, I can't say I wasn't there. Yeah, I we, don't know. All this, we never This we is all, this is armchair, this is armchair observations. I uh, do not know any of these people personally, but Chris Hardwick was uh, cleared basically of wrongdoing because i guess they had the correspondence between him and his girlfriend on his cell phone and it wasn't quite the story she was given and he was able to go back to host a show but then they had a bunch of staffers walk out at nerdist because they brought him back um you know so again though you know they did an investigation he was cleared and like you said with other you know perpetrators they're looking at possible jail time. Right. You know, Spacey and Weinstein and, you know, they're just, looking yeah, at jail time. I'm not saying not to leave women. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is um, I think you should believe women. But I also think that, you know, you really need to look at what's going on before, you know, because it is possible. I've seen it done many times. Uh, this guy didn't give me what I wanted. He didn't listen to me. He didn't give me the job I thought I should have. Um, he clearly hates women because he gave the promotion to the other guy. Well, I'm going to show him. You know, and I hate to say it, but I know a lot of catty bitches who would do it. <laughs> I really do. And I'm not saying not believe women. I mean, I, I, because, you know, I want people to believe me or believe my daughter yeah, or to believe people yeah. I know. But I'm also like, the system is broken. It's broken in a lot of ways. And I, I don't know what the answer is. I really don't because. I think, I think every accusation warrants uh, an investigation. But if the investigation is conducted, and no wrongdoing is found, then I, I, you know, there are people who are like, well, because there, there were, you know, accusations against this person, they should never work again, ever. If there was actually an investigation, they were cleared. That's not right. Yeah. Then, and it was actually a legit investigation. Then, you know, you know, I mean, why, why should they be banned from their rest of their lives from, well, from working? I'll why? tell you what, I have a son too. And as you guys know, and I worry about it all the time yeah. because like, what if somebody, he makes the wrong person mad and they accuse him of something he didn't do, you know? And people are like, well, what if he does something? I honestly have no doubt in my mind that my son would never do that ever. I have no doubt. And uh, so, you know, before you go making those comments, no, there are other guys out there I think would do it. Oh, hell yeah. I know several guys who think would do it. You're not included in that. So don't Thanks. worry. But I'm just saying, you know, I have a daughter and a son. Why do you think that way? I have a daughter and a son, and I can see it from yeah. both sides. I really can. I don't know what the answer is. It's yeah. I just think it's everybody is so. Well, again, it's you know, this does does this sort of thing happen? Absolutely. And that's not to minimize. That's not to minimize. Uh, you know, women going through legitimate harassment. You know, um, but again, once the person is cleared and they've done an investigation, right. don't that's, you? Where does where does the, the hate and the, the witch hunt? It end? doesn't. It doesn't. That's the seems thing. Seems like it doesn't. It seems yeah. like it doesn't because you know here again we have uh, an investigation with Lassiter, and again I don't you know I wasn't there. I don't know, but it sounds like they had plenty of time to investigate the situation, and they would not have made him a job offer if they thought would come back on the company. That's what I'm saying. They wouldn't. You know, and and the, they were looking at. Uh, uh, issues but of course you know and there are people who don't support uh nerdist now they don't support uh chris hardwick now because they don't believe him yeah i don't um, know even though there was an investigation again i don't know 
I don't know. No um, one does, but apparently, right. they, even though you don't know, you're allowed to make wild accusations because you think. All, um, all I can say is, you know, when there's an investigation and the person is cleared, then, you know, that should be enough to at least, you know, work toward, you know, getting their career back on track and whatever. Right, I mean, because right. what happens if somebody, like you said, with, with careers, like somebody is falsely accused and it's proven that they've been falsely accused, and but they still have the stigma of, well, they were accused of it. So they must, it must be, be true. Must well, that's be what happened to that teacher, and that's what happened to this 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 boy that, that they're suing now because he's like they're gonna have to they have to take him to a completely different school. They had to move and everything else because uh, the, he was completely no matter even though they was proven innocent, didn't matter. You you know you were associated with that, so you're forever you've got associated. The, yeah, you got the stigma. And you know it's just I'm a mom, like I said, I see it from both sides, and I, you know it's it's a very it's a very scary thing. I guess the best advice I can give anybody is always make sure you behave in a way that you cannot be accused of doing anything wrong. Yeah. And you always, if you're, you know, if you're afraid of being in a position where you're going to be, you know, something like that's going to happen to you, always have other people with you, always document it, always cover your butt, you know, that kind of thing. We'll talk about the the Twitter reactions. Uh, are, are a lot of reactions from animator types and, and comic book people on Twitter. So, of course, most of them are not supporting John Lasseter. Um, but you, you know, you made the comment about, uh, you know, not putting yourself in a situation where you could even be potentially you get in trouble for that too. Right. I was going to bring that up. So we talked about, uh, before about Ninja, mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, you know, the Twitch streamer, we talked about him and how he refuses to stream with women because he doesn't want to be accused. And then he's in trouble for that. And, but then he's in trouble because he doesn't want to, you know, because he's not helping women but he doesn't want to bring women onto his uh, uh, stream, as I understand it, out of respect for his wife. But not just that. He's afraid that if he did, accusations would fly about these women and it could right. cause them harm as right. well. And he's not wrong. He's not I wrong. I was thinking about the guy who plays Superman. Oh, my mind blank. Uh, Henry Cavill. He said about not wanting to date. He's like, I'm almost afraid to date because he's afraid, you know, of being accused of something. And he, he got in trouble. And then people's comments were, well, if you don't do anything wrong, you shouldn't be afraid. To, you shouldn't have to be afraid of being accused. And I'm like, it doesn't matter if he dates the wrong person and she's a nut. It doesn't matter if he did do nothing wrong. He can still be accused, even if you're innocent. If if it comes down to it, and the two of you were alone uh, somewhere, just talking in a car, and you or broke up with her, and you broke up with her, and she was pissed, she could very easily say, "Well, he tried to grab me." Oh, and... rip my shirt, scratch myself. Oh my God, how dare you? I mean, I'm not saying that somebody, but people would do. It. I mean, people no, are people. No, they are crazy. It doesn't people. matter. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. People do shitty things like that. And um, you know, in this in this uh, in this uh, environment now, yeah, you know what? A lot of guys are just like, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to put myself in this. But there's situation. a lot of girls who are afraid to be out there too because they're afraid they're going to get attacked. And because guess, every guy is a potential attacker, right? Because they're being you know, told. They're being so told I'm every guy is like, a potential attacker, and simultaneously, uh, uh, you know, afraid to. But my best date advice, them. my best <laughs> like, advice what? to you, male or female is always conduct yourself in a way that you cannot be accused of doing things. And if you're out there and you're worried about, you know, someone doing something to you, um, either male or female, always have someone with you, Doc, if something happens, immediately document it. Times, names, place, every detail you can think of, immediately document it um, so you have it. You know, uh, it's just, it's sad that this is where we are. You know, I mean, it's sad all the way around. It's sad that you know, uh, people have to worry about being attacked. I mean, obviously, but it's also sad that even if you do nothing wrong, you could be accused of doing something wrong. Right. You know, they, but then if you do something, but then people, you know, they do something wrong, you know, and if they didn't do it wrong, he's getting rewarded for it. So I don't, I don't know. We weren't there, but go ahead. What are you okay. About so there? let's, let's go down here. Um, we've got reactions from people in the animation and uh, comics industry. I know where you're going with this. And uh, some of, many of them actually are from Crunchyroll. I'm surprised. Yes, I know. We were um, funny about that. That was funny. Uh, so she's, uh, she's from, from Crunchyroll. Um, she doesn't take commissions. Being a woman in an industry where known repeated abusers are hired back to their high positions after a handful of months because they're irreplaceable is as terrifying as it is infuriating. I have no words. If it's true, then yeah, I can see it. This Kate one's Leff. funny. Kate Leff, who... Who um, always goes around hating on men all the time. She hates men. She's, oh, yeah, she makes sense. She gloats in the... Or delights in the uh, 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 men being... Uh, having their comic books canceled. Um, from what I can see, again, I do not know her, just her Twitter persona. That's why I unfollowed her back when I yeah. followed another person for doing the same behavior. Wow, I took a general at Skydance last month. Why? Why would why? she, I thought why she would working, take a general at Skydance last month? She's working on High Guardian Space. That's awfully convenient. Either that you were looking for another job, 
or you just conveniently took a look at them last month, quote unquote, when this came out. Go ahead. She's, I just find it Oh, continue. no, I guess I am following her. I didn't know I was following her. Look, I'm I don't. Oh, my God, I'm following her. Um, no, it said follow. No, it said followed by. It said follow oh, by. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't follow <laughs> her. <laughs> I guess I'm still following her. I didn't even know that. Uh, anyway, yeah, um... So I took a general look. I took a general at Skydance last month. I will be back. Say, what are you I doing? I will be back. Why were you there in the first place? I thought you had a job at Crunchyroll, making all this stuff about women for women because of women. I thought she's working on High Guardian and diversity. Spice. diversity. She's not working on High Guardian Spice. So now, either you're looking for a job because what's going on? With, I don't know what's going on with that. Or which is interesting. Or you just suddenly made you know. Oh, I just happened to be looking at that last month. Uh huh. Uh, she works for Screen Rant in Sci-Fi. All these Me Too accusations will destroy men's lives and their careers. Uh, and John Laster is back. Uh, Jessica Ellis, she is from... Uh, I don't know where she's from. Um, John Laster is a nearly unprecedented talent and oversaw possibly the best animated movies ever made. Uh, I would agree with that. He also used his power to physically abuse his female workers. He should never work again. But they cleared him. The breakneck speed at which journalists have been naming the next perpetrator renders some reporting irresponsible. They said. And they went from just one to now all these women have said. We did not leave Pixar because of unwanted advances. That is untrue. This is what set everything in motion. And they said that that is not why they left. Again, I was not there. I do not know. But this person knows. It's, it's cut and dry for sure because they said so. While working on Brave, John Laster didn't respect Brenda Chapman enough to attend meetings with her. Can't wait to see which women he ignores at Skydance. That's okay. So, because he didn't take a meeting with somebody, he's a molester? No, so now it's, now, <laughs> now, that's what I'm saying. Now it's, we can't, now it's, we can't it's, fall it's back falling on that. into this whole, it's, it's breaking apart into, it went from the sexual allegations to now, oh, he doesn't treat women well in general because he doesn't go to meetings. It doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't elevate them up to, you know, his level. So, it, but that's not the same thing. But that, yeah, but that actually came down to what the original complaint was, is that Pixar's culture wasn't diverse enough and now they're saying, so instead of saying John Laster is a creepy perv who pinches people in the ass, uh, they said, well, he didn't take a meeting with someone. Because that's how you, he doesn't like, he doesn't, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't like, respect women he as equals. Well, then I know. Well, that's not the same thing. I, I mean, it's still crap. And if you don't respect women as equals, you've got a problem. Right. And that's crap. But, you know. Uh, at a moment when we should be uplifting the talented voices who are consistently underrepresented. Here we go again. Here we go again. What does this have to because do with? Because he's a white guy. I mean, I'm just going to call it out. It's because he's a white guy and they're mad. He's a white guy. Skydance is providing another position of power, prominence, and privilege to a man who has repeatedly been accused of sexual harassment in the workplace. Where are the formal accusations? If somebody actually steps forward with a formal accusation and legal action... But there might be. Could, well, for, for that we could know. happen. I mean, maybe because of this, somebody will actually step forward with some actual... Proof. Like, yes... John Lasseter uh, did uh, corner me in the, the break And here's room. my proof. Of and it. here's my proof. Uh, but this whole thing is, I think what weirds me out about this is how nebulous it is. There's no distinct, like Harvey Weinstein, there was no question. Harvey Weinstein, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> was a skis. Uh, you know, Kevin Spacey was a sleazeball. Um, there's proof. There's a and there's lot of- charges And there's charges because pending because there's enough proof to take them uh, to court, but with Laster, it's just like, well, he hugs too much, and but we don't know that he mean. there's unwanted uh, uh, advances, and he doesn't respect women. That's the and he's white. Well, yeah, but then the thing too, again, going back to Disney, Disney could have fired him on the spot, and they didn't. Yeah, like the fact that they didn't. It's weird. The fact it's that they the whole didn't, situation. But is they got weird. rid of gun so fast is always weird to me. Yeah, and it just goes on and on. Obviously, Twitter is not happy. Twitter's not happy about anything. But well, that's because everybody is there now instead of Tumblr. Yeah, so. Um, I don't know. I, you know. Again, I don't... But even then, I, that's I a trend, know. and there's only 6,500. Yeah, it's not really... Not even, you know, like, not even yeah. 7,000, that's trending. It's been up for hours. The average... And that's, the, that's sad. The average moviegoer is, you know, not not even gonna know what happened. They're not gonna care. Uh, Lasseter was unemployed for a total of nine days. That's like Well, a, we'll see, because they're putting the pressure. Watch this place drop them, because everybody's mad, they said. Well, yeah, I mean, that could happen, too. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, but, you know, again, this is just a really weird, this is a weird situation. But if he did it, then he deserves what he gets. But if he didn't do it, then it's like, you know, and that's just, that's what the conundrum is. So, so um, anyway, again, we weren't going to cover this originally. We decided to talk about it. It is the, the biggest story in animation uh, right now, today. <gasps> Wait, how can you say that? 
it, don't you know She-Ra's the biggest story in animation? <laughs> it always is. She-Ra's always the, She-Ra can't top this. Uh, no, but this is today. This is the biggest story in animation. This is a, this is a big deal, and we do cover animation, so uh, we thought we'd cover it. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to we think. don't know what happened. I don't know what to think. Don't really know if he did. Don't know if he didn't. But you know, the investigation says that it's okay. So and, well, the, actually, the investigation said that the that basically implied allegations are subjective, and that implied that he was aware of his behavior that was considered, you know, inappropriate, and right. has taken proper actions to rectify the situation. So I have no idea. But I, it's I don't just, know. It's a scary thing either way. Um, but I'm sure Disney is not going to be real thrilled because, to be honest, I mean, you know, looking past all of this uh Lasseter you really put them back on the map for animation mm. and he's going to the competitor so um I don't know I don't know um but we will continue to watch this story as it develops and uh that's the best we can do I guess yeah so uh stay tuned to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news views rants gaming videos art videos and more this has been Neon and Geeky bye goodbye <laughs>